I think the answer to that is a qualified yes. Um, there has been one randomized phase three trial that compared standard of care with nivolumab, and we've seen an overall survival hazard ratio there of 0.7 in favor of nivolumab. The issue is that the response rate may not be high, and some patients with advanced head and neck cancer can be quite symptomatic with um, pain, issues regarding their airway, perhaps a, a risk of bleeding. And so I think uh, as we develop more information about how to select patients for these agents, I think that they're going to be go-to agents for, for a lot of patients. I think in the, in the early months of, of using these, the balance between a, a somewhat low response rate and the hope of prolonged survival for a subset of the patients is, is um, going to be something that we're going to be working out.